everyone, welcome back to the series. I am very excited for today's episode. I've been a huge fan of John Carpenter's film, The Thing, since I first saw it when I was about six years old. And that was a roughly 1986, and it was on cable late one night. And because my older brothers and sisters were up watching it, I was up watching it. Now, I'm not going to give a film review or anything today, but I do want to talk a little bit about uh, my personal history with the film because, um, you know, because I saw it at such a young age throughout my whole life, um, I've returned to that film time and time again. It is one of my favorite films of all time. You know, going back to 2002, that was the first time I made uh, my first Thing costume. And, you know, going f for that handcrafted sort of uh, DIY, you know, everything that I've, I've seen behind the scenes pictures of with uh, Rob Bottin creating the monster effects for this film, I wanted to get my hands into that. And so I was able to sculpt uh, out of cardboard and Sculpey and hot glue and uh, mannequin heads and just try to capture my own take on the thing. And so my first costume was in 2002. And uh, I've got a few, a few photographs of it here, so please forgive the graininess. Um, but I wanted to then revisit it years later in, I believe, 2010. Um, I did my sort of second take on it and uh, crafted that again out of cardboard and tape and hot glue and expanding foam and Sculpey and uh, resin. And it was, it's such a fun uh, costume to get into because there's, the, the thing can take so many forms. So you're just free to do what you want. Beyond all this, there's kind of a personal uh, attachment to the film because every time I watch the film, it reminds me of a series of photographs from my father's history. He was stationed in Thule Air Force Base in Greenland in the late 50s. Now, seeing these photographs later in life, uh, it just instantly, whenever I watch the film, it reminds me of my father and the time he spent in the Northern Hemisphere. And when you see some of these photos and you, you know, you look at the base featured in the thing, Outpost 31, obviously it looks like a sort of a remote Air Force base. So seeing these photographs of my father's for the first time, it was crazy looking at this. And, you know, it was not that much later than I believe when the first version of The Thing came out in 1951, uh, The Thing from Another Planet. So I, I don't know, but I always wondered, if, you know, if my father saw that film. But the interesting thing is, you know, Thule Air Force Base in Greenland, well, the Norwegian camp in the film The Thing is called the Thule Research Station. That's the Norwegian camp that, you know, unfortunately meets its demise. And when uh, Kurt Russell flies over there and they're investigating it, you see the remnants of the burned down shell of Thule uh, outpost. And so I guess uh, I never really knew that that was called Thule until, you know, doing a recent Google search on the Thule Air Force Base in Greenland. But uh, so that gave me another layer of like, hey, this is it's just uh, for me it's there's a there's a nice long history i've had with the film and it's uh it's why i wanted to do something today i you know i beyond doing costumes and having this sort of history with my father and him being in the air force in greenland uh i figured why not do uh, a painting so i set out with one goal in mind for today's painting. And that was to simply pay homage to Drew Struzan's iconic movie poster for the original film. You know, this 
this image, you know, seeing it on VHS boxes in the video store as well as a kid. It's incredible. It has this figure, this dark silhouette in a sort of Arctic tundra and the light coming from the face. I just remember everything about it, the, the hood, the fur on the hood, it just looked maniacal. And the light emitting from its face, it really captures the essence of that film perfectly. And so for today's episode, I wanted to do an homage to Drew Struzan's movie poster of the thing. And I wanted to kind of treat it as a tangential in the spirit of, um, kind of touching upon some of those elements that he was able to uh, beautifully embody in that movie poster. So I really hope you guys enjoyed today's episode and uh, please share this, let other fans of the thing know if you enjoyed today's episode. I'd uh, really appreciate it. One last thing, Phantom Antenna's score for this episode, phenomenal. It's such a perfect companion to that original synth, dark brooding synth score that um, Carpenter brought to the first film or to his version of the thing. It's, uh, it's a phenomenal score. And so I, I hope you guys enjoy that as well. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.